What is up guys, Kane here, bruh. Back with another video today, as you guys can see or read by the title. We are going to be playing Greenville in Roblox. And um, we're going to be uh, reviewing the Reg Coin Exec Regera. Not quite sure how to say the name, but uh, yeah. So I just bought this car earlier today. Uh, the only reason I was able to afford it is because of that glitch. Um, make sure you guys go check out that video. It gets you a lot of money, and that's how I was able to afford this car. This car costs one point five. Er, sorry, one point eight million dollars. People are trying to run me over. So uh, let's hurry and spawn it. Yeah, the coin. Uh, whatever this is, the 2016 Coinexeg Regera, and it's right here. So if we hurry and spawn this, I have it in my nice green color. So, right now, it looks like a pretty good car. Um, it's very fast. I've drove it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's the size, and people are, like, driving everywhere. But yeah, there's, uh, the left side of it. And there's that shot. Uh, the front of it. Yeah, I like this little, like, roof scope. Also, uh, other cars don't have license plates, but this one actually does. Um, it has a little Quinnigzeg logo there. Not with the colors, but... I mean, it's close. Um, got the nice black rims, and, uh, yeah, it doesn't, I mean, there could be something right there to make it look better, but, um, there's a little surprise right here. You guys probably already know, but, uh, let me hurry and show you. So, the sounds of it are really nice. Yeah, so the sounds are okay on it, but, yeah. Also, what I don't like is that you, like, you can't press L to turn the lights on. You literally have to go down into the bottom right corner and press the lights button, and then your lights will turn on. Uh, it's pretty, actually, like, pretty nice. Uh, you got the little trunk command right here where you can open your trunk. Also, the first car in Greenville that does that. I'm gonna turn my volume down just a little bit. But, yeah. Um, it goes... So, as you guys can see, the spoiler goes up, and when you press the brake, it actually tilts up. It's actually really cool, like, I love that part. The Bugatti used to do that, but it doesn't anymore. Um, it's kind of hard to control, um, but it's okay. Whoa, bro. I, I mean, yeah, it, it's actually a really nice car. I probably rated a 10 out of 10, but yeah. It goes, like, really, really, really fast. And the top speed is 250. So, it's probably one of the best cars in the game. Um, second most expensive. I've never tried out the Tesla Model X before. So, therefore, I would not know. But, uh, yeah, it actually looks really, really nice. Um, the blinkers are actually automatic. So... If I press C, it'll have my blinkers. Uh, this is what the blinkers look like, by the way. But if I press uh, D, which turns me right, which is the way my blinkers facing, if I hold it, it doesn't turn off. But as soon as I let go, it's automatic, and it just turns off. So that's also another feature that I don't think any other cars have, but I'm not quite sure. Also, if you turn on TCS, which is T, uh, you can, like, do these, also, no other cars can do this, um, yeah, so, it's, like, really nice, what I like about it is, uh, you can just, like, be driving, and then it just spins you out of control, like, I literally, you guys can see my wheel, I'm not even touching W or D, and it just, like, spins you a bunch, it's kind of fun, but, yeah, um, so, if we turn that off, it doesn't spin as much, but it still spins a little bit. So, um, yeah, it, it's probably my favorite car so far. Um, but yeah, it has that little thing, and that's probably my favorite part about it. Um, but, yeah, it's, pr it's pretty nice. One thing about it, though, is, bro, if you rev it, there's sadly no, uh, backfire or whatever that stuff's called, where it shoots out, like, flames through the, uh, exhaust. Yeah, it does not have any of that, but something interesting about this car is if I turn it around, because it only has one gear, 
Um, I'll just show you guys. So I can go 250 when I'm in drive, right? If you put it into reverse, well, um, yeah, it can go 250 miles per hour in reverse also. So, I mean, it's really hard to control in reverse, but, like, if you want to show off, I mean, this is kind of the way to do it. Uh, yeah, so that's something that, like, is really weird, but, it, yeah. Oh, also, your head does kind of, like, stick out right here a little bit, but, I mean, I just don't really mind that. But, yeah, as you guys can see, it goes pretty fast, like, really fast. Um, and then if you turn CT TCS on and you just hit the steering, like, I don't think it does it at full speed very well, but if you're going, like, 50 and you do it, press, like, W or A, it'll, like, spin completely out of control. But, yeah. Anyways, I think that's about it for this video, guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment in the section below. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool car. Um, if I was you guys, I would probably get it. It also has, like, a little scoop thingy, like, right there. And also, like, right there. Uh, yeah, it actually works. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys share this video. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!